reflection thinking about what you Hey guys, welcome to another video and a few days back you saw me install the One OS which is based on the stock Oxygen OS ROM. Of course, that is based on Android 9 Pie. Now, today's video is after 24 hours of installing that particular ROM. Now, I'm someone who uses my phone as a daily driver even if it is on a custom ROM or on a stock ROM because I want to give you guys a real life scenarios. And there was a series that I'd done called Real Life ROM Reviews. I'll link that video somewhere here. Go ahead and take a look at the format of that video and let me know if you would want me to review ROMs in such manner as to I you know the way I go through my day from the start of the day till the end as in when I use my phone I showed my experience and stuff like that nonetheless this is a very very conventional review I have used the phone for more than 24 hours with the one OS and of course it is rock solid and stable what we are going to do today is we'll quickly have a look at the nifty features and additions that this ROM provides you at the same time we will also have a look how different is it from the stock ROM and other things but if you haven't already please subscribe hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's get going <laughs> All right, so welcome to another video and in today's video as you know we are using the one OS which is powered by Oxygen OS based on Android 9 Pie. So I've been using it for a couple of days and uh, I've always been a fan of custom ROMs which are running a stock ROM. Basically the base is the stock ROM. So if we go to the about section you will notice that it is the same old layout that is there in Oxygen OS. We are running Android version 9 and Oxygen OS version is 9.0.1. And if you look at the name of the OS, the build number is the One Phi OS 9.0.1. Now, the reason this particular OS is special is as you can see, it is running everything that is completely stock. Now I'm just using a rootless launcher with the Google now integrated uh, sidebar and stuff like that but if you look at the fluidity of the os overall it is very very fluid because that is how oxygen os pi has been for this particular device from day one but what i would like to add here is if you look at the snappiness and all the other features and stuff the os feels very very light compared to what it was on the stock operating system at the same time the multitasking and everything else is just like the stock rom but you do get a lot of additional features stuff like you can install digital dolby dts sound you can install viper for android so this rom comes with the aroma installer which allows you to customize a lot of things to the level wherein you can also install the substantum theme now the reason i like stock based roms is because as you can see it is running the stock oneplus camera and it works like a charm once you flash this particular rom you have nothing to worry about because you have Majeskin built, you have a lot of customization options. Few of them, for example, that I'm using is I'm using Substantum, I'm using Majisk, so I don't have to worry about root. And apart from that, if we go to settings and look at this particular menu, it is completely, completely stock. Now, while we're at it, let's quickly actually go to the ROM page and let's see what are the other features that this particular ROM offers. All right, so first let's have a look at the features of this particular ROM. As you can see, there is a custom boot animation, custom splash screen, you have Aroma installer, you have root choices, permissive module, you have add away, and then you can debloat this complete ROM as well. Busybox can be installed. Apart from that, you have options to choose from Aroma, which allows you to use Viper for Android. You can have rounded recents, rounded corners, and you can choose whether you want the stock boot animation or not. So that many features in this particular ROM is amazing. And this is the boot animation which you normally get and it looks beautiful. I will reboot the phone. Now you also have an option to have rounded recents or recents which are like the earlier versions of Android. Other features are very, very similar to the stock ROM. Now the reason I'm reviewing this particular ROM is because the battery life on this ROM is excellent. Fast charge that is dash charge works just fine. You can get up to five to six hours of screen on time along with the stability of Oxygen OS. And this is a ROM that has been updated quite frequently. Now, as much as I showed you in the previous video of how to go ahead and install this ROM, 
the main features as i mentioned earlier of this particular rom lie in the installation process so what i will do is i will take you to the installation screens and i will show you the amount of customizations that are available because this is not a custom rom which will have all the customizations in the settings so let's quickly reboot to the recovery and let me show you how the installation procedure or how different you can make this rom look so we're going to have a look at two different things over here just like the install and preview video but let me just go ahead and give you a quick glimpse of it so if we first open the aroma installer all right so here goes nothing now if you look at it install the one fi os and it also says install no verity if you are de decrypted so i am decrypted then you go to boot you can ch select which type of boot animation you want you can also choose the type of splash screen that you want then you have the deep load option so you can choose to debloat all Google apps. Now in this particular menu, basically you will get a list of items that will be removed if you select them. So you can debloat all Google apps, all OnePlus apps. You can debloat add away and a lot of things. The list just goes on. You can have a complete debloated bare bones ROM. That is up to you. At the same time, you can select these particular apps. Ozone is a substantum theme. Curve is rounded corners. It's again a substantum theme. Now, Substantum theme engine is something you can install. You can also choose to install titanium backup and you can also install exposed installer, but it's not compatible with, with Pi, so we will leave it alone. Now, if you go to the root option, you have Majisk 18, 17.1. You can uninstall Majisk or you can choose that you don't want root if you're gonna be using a lot of banking apps. Now, if you go to modules, you can use BusyBox, Permissive Majisk module, Cloudflare, always on display. Again, not compatible with Pi. Google feed for OnePlus launcher, fingerprint swipe gestures, Google contacts and dialer. And then when you go to sound, you will see that you have audio modifications library needed for Dolby Digital, Viper for Android, Dolby Digital Plus, and then you have finished. So the moment you click finish, it will start installing. We won't do that because right now it is already installed. Now there's one more thing that I need to show you guys that is the add-on module so let me just quickly show you that as well so this is the add-on module let's see what it allows you to do you can choose action launcher 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 or nova launcher and then and you go to apps you can choose add away block ads ozone again the same things that were there earlier and then you have a few modules here like cloudflare dns then you have permissive module youtube advanced wi-fi bonding 2.4 gigahertz and then again you have the sound options so all in all the reason i like this rom so much meanwhile we'll just go ahead and reboot to system and I'll show you the boot animation as well. Now, the whole idea behind reviewing this ROM in this particular manner is one, this is based on stock Android OS Pi. So the smoothness, all the features of stock Android OS Pi are already there. The camera clarity is there as good as the stock ROM and you can de-bloat it. So maybe you can increase the battery life, the snappiness. And as you can see, that is the boot animation, the one Fi OS boot animation. There you have it, looks pretty beautiful. And then just like that, we are back to the home screen. So all in all, this ROM is for someone who wants the feel of a custom ROM with a lot of added features that are maybe missing in the stock ROM. But then again, they don't want to go the AOSP way wherein they might face some bugs or issues. And the battery life on this one is as reliable as the stock ROM. The feel of this ROM is as reliable as the stock ROM. I have not experienced any problem, any force closures for this particular ROM. So if you are someone who is looking for a ROM that is stable for a daily driver without any doubts and has a lot of features as well well you can choose to install the one fi os the link for the xda thread is mentioned in the description you can just go ahead and download and follow the instructions from there and install it and if there's anything that is missing well that's the camera review for this rom doesn't really make sense because it has a stock camera i've not tried gcam on it so that is something i'm planning on doing it apart from that well this is completely stock and there you have it this is the one fi os for the one plus fi now if you like this video guys give this video a thumbs up and if there are any other things that you would like to see in rom reviews let me know in the comment section until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye one more minute,